Tis the season of giving, but the giving seems to be lower than in years past at the Salvation Army. Numbers are down so far for both the annual Red Kettle Campaign and Toys for Tots Toy Drive. News 18's Brittany Tyner joins us now and reports the Kettle Campaign is down 10%. Brittany, why do those numbers seem to be true? Well, Dan, the economy may still be playing a factor in donations, but believe it or not, the weather may be to blame as well. Now, either way, the numbers are down, but Salvation Army officials say there's still plenty of time to turn that around. To make some child happy, make sure they got what was on their Santa list. That's real important. Santa's Toys for Tots list at the Salvation Army is rather long this year. And right now, not every child will get what they wished for. That's why Vicki Orem and her employees have decided to give back. I contacted them to see if we could have several angels. I think they gave me 25 the first time and probably 15 the second time. So I know we're going to make 40 children's. Christmas Day really special. Major Jim Irvin says the toys will be distributed to the families in need next week. He says although there has already been a lot of toys dropped off, there's still several children in need on the angel trees. Irvin says the Salvation Army is also having a tough time reaching its $185,000 goal for the Red Kettle campaign. Uh, the last time I was able to look at uh, numbers, we were down about 10% from the same time period that we were the year before. Irvin says the recovering economy may be to blame for the lower donations, but there may also be another factor. Let's face it, we've been receiving some pretty warm weather here, and people aren't thinking that it's Christmas time yet. And uh, that, uh, that does make a difference. There's something magical about seeing snow in the air and watching the bell ringers. Irvin says there's still plenty of time to donate to the Red Kettle campaign. As for Toys for Tots, people can still pick an angel off a tree at Walmart or bring in a toy to the Salvation Army on Union Street. Want to give back, but this year money is tight? Major Irvin says the Salvation Army is still in need of bell ringers. He says all it takes is two hours of your time. To learn how you can sign up, head to our website at WLFI.com. Brittany Tyner, News 18.